hey guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking to watch my video like i always say i'm always very grateful to you guys thank you i truly appreciate you if this is the first time you are coming across this channel you are welcome please if you love what you see do not forget to subscribe to like and remember to turn on the post notification so that you will get to be notified anytime we adjust the drop video thank you so much so guys what you carry me come today in another quick update regarding cora obidi and her ex-husband because it has been fully confirmed justin has already said it that yes him and cora has been has gotten their divorce so Justin um, Dean has taken to his social media because you guys know that he's always live now. Um, saying some certain things about child custody. Yes, he came to say the reason why he also got the divorce and he, he decided to divorce um, Cora. Because according to him, when he went to Facebook Live, um, that is the latest update why he decided to get a divorce. He explained and said that he decided to get a divorce because Cora continuously repeating that she regretted why uh, they gave birth to Joan. Yes, that's what she said. That's what he said according to him. He said, I'm getting a divorce because she hurts uh, June. And she he also states said states that she repeatedly saying that she regretted why they got they gave birth to June. So if you don't know who is June, June is their fox child. So he came to face social media um to Facebook as well and he was crying, you know, um saying that he wants a um, He's going to ask for a custody of uh, their children, that he wanted a co-parenting, you know, for them to share it together. But according to him, he's saying that Cora has, um, with court support, has withdrawn his own custody. So now he's going to file for custody, full custody for their children, guys. This is just the situation. I mean, it's so, so bad. And according to him, he said, she repeatedly told me she regretted June ever being born. I told her to stop saying so, but she kept repeating it. And he said that if he call his mom, his mom can as well testify to this, that his mom heard it while they were on the phone. And then... Um, that she can testify to this that Cora always said that she repeated she's regretting why they ever give birth to June and then he said that a uh, papers has been filed to stop him from seeing his kids because she's trying to hurt me I love my kids so he's saying that he loves his kids and um Cora has withdrawn paper, has filed papers to withdraw his custody, his co-parenting to the kids. This is a very serious um, case, guys. But two days ago, um, Justin posted on his social media, you know, about how parenting is time consuming, but um, it costs him nothing, you know. He posted this and so many people even came after him, you know. A lot of people were like, why is he um, posting it? Why is he saying that um, single dad? Because he especially tagged single dad on that post, you know. And so many people were really after him on that video. A lot of people made so much um, comments on that um, his uh, single dad um, stuff. And so many people came after him saying, you know, so many things about it. So like I said, many people were really against that his tag. And there's this comment I want to read now. So someone wrote there and said, why did you post about your separation online? You needed attention, right? Why did you not solve your issues with the mother of your children? Even if she mixed up, you could have solved all that together. Marriage is for two individuals. 
social media is not real. Now, look at how much damage you have caused. Cora had your second child just the other day. She needed healing and you know that it is immature of you. Exactly my point in this whole thing. I mean, he was too forward in this whole issue. But anyway, I just thank God the way Cora is handling it. She's handling it in a very matured way. Just like she said, she's never going to come here and say anything wrong about her husband. Because she understands the way social media works. So, this is um, the current update about... um justin dean and what he's seeking from the public i'm going to you leave you guys to watch the video and then um you watch and then let me know what you think what is your air on this what is your view please comment on the comment section let me know what you think and please do not forget to subscribe to like and to turn on the post notification for more videos thank you i'm glad you are watching thank you and i appreciate you this is simply just tv i am signing out see you guys on my next one bye i'm just gonna start with um why i divorced cora what made me post what i posted what made me emotionally lose control and there's only one thing that can make me do that and that's my kids um well nothing else So, many of you know, well, I divorced Cora because we got into an argument and Cora says things to hurt me sometimes and she repeatedly told me that she regretted June ever being born. And I asked her to stop saying that. And June was in my arms crying. And she repeatedly said it over and over again. And I called my mother, who will testify this in court, that she would kept saying it over and over and again. And I said, you can't say this to June. She understands what you're saying. June's crying. I attempted to take June out of the room. And I said, you can't be around your daughter if you're saying this type of stuff and she came across the room my mom's on the phone will testify this in court and ripped violently ripped June out of my hands and then um, and very close di dislocated June's shoulder the next that was when I posted online that I was divorcing my wife and I can't be treated this way anymore when I went live and said, say it again, it was that, that she regretted June being born. So fast forward, many of you reached out to me and I have talked to an attorney. I have talked to an attorney. I'm asked, and I can't see my kids right now and I'm asking for public support because I love my kids.